Hey gang, Steve with Guitar Center. We're at NAMM 2023. We're hanging out at the Nord booth with Christian. We're going to check out the new Stage 4 keyboards. How you doing, Christian? I'm doing very good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You know, I'm living that NAMM dream. So uh, tell us why you're excited about the new Stage 4. I'm excited. I grew up with the uh, Nord products and came along through the Stage 1, Stage 2, or it was, and Stage 3. And then when I saw the spec for the Stage 4, I thought, OK, is it that much better? So they shipped me one, and I spent uh, maybe four and a half hours, and I found all of these new, very cool features, kind of on my own, without really going through any manual, but they've added so much. The Stage 3 was a brilliant product, and still is, but they did something that, to me, made a lot more sense. They relayed out the whole front panel. They got rid of this A and B panel. They threw a lot of confusion to people. You'd go to edit a knob or something, and you'd have to remember, am I on A or B? Now everything is on live. The panel is available. Anything that you want to do is available without switching between two panel settings. They added a third synthesizer section, which to me is huge because the roads were always good, the whirlies, the clavs, the organ. The synth section to me was somewhat wanting. And now the fact that they've modeled more after like the A1 and the Wave 2, they've brought a lot more synthesis capability into it. You have a real-time mixer, which came from the Wave 2, which is cool. So three different synthesizer patches can be layered. They can also be samples or any mixture of the two. You can split or layer them as well. And in addition, the piano, now not only can you have two different pianos from the, or electromechanical products, whirlies, clavs, whatever, but they've added a dynamic compressor dedicated to the piano section in addition to the EQs that they had added some time ago. So now this section is very complete for dialing in a piano without using your effects. Well, the cool thing about the effects now is the effects now are available as inserts to every single sound, every single model. So if I put on this piano, any one of the effects I want to use, I can use. That doesn't mean now that those effects are no longer available. They're still available for anything else. If I turn on a synth, I'm able to turn on that very same effect and set depth and rate. So I now have complete insert effects on every sound, which was not possible on the stage three at all, including reverb. So I can have different reverbs or stages or small room, depending on what I want, on individual parts. This makes the effect so much more powerful. You have a compressor you can use as a bus compressor or as a master compressor. Very, very sweet. And the, uh, the listing, the way to see what's in the instrument has changed. They now have a category where you can select from the three groups, essentially the organ modeling, the electromechanical, and the electronic synthesizer sampling. And you can see exactly what's in the instrument with a touch of a button and just scroll through. That's really so much better than the shift list, turn a knob, and then find out. Everything's so immediate. That's, I get excited because I can just have a blast with this immediately. If I'm on a gig, I hit my live mode. I now have eight different live presets I can create on the fly. They're not written into permanent memory. I can mess with them live at the end of the gig. They're all there for my next gig if I want them. If I don't, I can mess with any one of them at any time and it doesn't force me to name it and save it. Yeah. It's just a cool palette to work from live. Then of course I can return to my presets. So, so uh, as, I, as I'm just looking across here, I'm seeing like very cool LED draw bars in the organ section. Can you talk to us about the updates there? All models now have physical draw bars. This was not the case. If you bought the HP or the 88 note weighted, it had uh, electronic, uh, just a ladder of lights with a button that would either increase the draw bar, if you will, or decrease it. Now you have physical draw bars. This is huge and it's on all the models, whether it be the 88 note, hammer weighted, graduated hammer weight, and triple sensors in it for hyper velocity, or the 73 note, which is the same action, hammer weighted, triple sensor, or the waterfall key, that's more for the Hammond organ players. Same triple sensor, draw bars on all of them. We're really happy about that. So in terms of using terms like triple sensor, right. how exactly does that translate to the player? Like how would you describe it to somebody else in terms of the feel? 
I created my own terminology. I call it hypervelocity, okay. which means the velocity control, especially over lower dynamics, is much more even and smooth. So across the whole dynamic range, it used to be that you hit a key, then the second sensor triggers and it measures time of flight between the first time you touch the key and the bottom of the key. And it averages and it lets you know that's the velocity you play. Now with having three, it's measuring twice as many times, so you get a much more accurate result. That's cool. So if you're sort of riding the keys, it's picking up the, those smaller segments? Especially if you're playing, uh, let's say, in any kind of general business band, where you're playing anything from a beautiful ballad of some kind. You might be playing something from the 40s from a big band swinger, or you're playing something very aggressive by uh, one of the modern artists like Lizzo or whoever it might be, where essentially all you need is triple F. But you have everywhere in between, and the control is beautiful. Nice, very cool. So can we hear some samples? Yeah, absolutely. unusual from Nord to hear sounds like this. Moving in a different direction, they've got a lot of cool uh, arpeggiation patterns in some of the presets. I kind of like this one. Very cool, like live performance instrument. It's just a, a blast to play. Here's something else very different. A lot of uh, films require these, what I call a rise effect, so you can get like a... This one that's uh, very different. I mean, people expect and already know they're going to get great pianos, great electric pianos, you know, all the great Hammond features or organ features. I wanted to show the things that are a little more unique. When you get into the arpeggiators, 
Here's one last sound. This is a very twisted sound. I want to hear um, an example or two of the layer effect. Okay. So as I was playing that last program, I decided I wanted to add a phaser to one of the arpeggiated patterns. And I was controlling the amount, the depth, and the rate. Then I also decided I would add a little overdrive. Uh, and I switched from no amplifier to a twin reverb amplifier. And you can pretty much add whatever you wanted. If I had decided at that point while I'm playing, I'm playing again, I want to add organ. Add organ, put some overdrive on the organ, turn the organ down, put it on slow, decide I want the synthesizer down an octave, I'll turn piano off, these strings I want to move down an octave. Just want percussion on the organ. Well, Chris, I really couldn't have said it any better myself. Gang, make sure you get out to your local GC and check out the new Nord Stage 4 or check it out at guitarcenter.com. <laughs>